Hi guys, my name is Frank El Medico Rodriguez. I'm here with SAE and we're going to do a small tutorial about editing shortcuts in Pro Tools. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a couple of key commands that I like to use when editing in Pro Tools. Uh, here I have a session with a couple of tracks and let's say, for instance, within this session, I would like to trim everything uh, from here on back or so I want to basically get rid of all this stuff from from the position of my cursor all the way to the end for that I can press the letter S and Pro Tools will allow me to do that and that goes for any anywhere I could say oh you know what I don't need anything from here so I press the letter S and it trims that out the same thing works in the beginning if I wanted to trim everything from the position of the cursor to the beginning of the session I could press the letter A and that will actually cut out everything from the big from the position of the cursor to the beginning of the session there was a break point here that's why Pro Tools only trim up until that point see that because obviously this is a brand new clip so if I wanted to uh, trim everything from here on back I would have to put my cursor there and press the letter A again so A will trim the beginning and S will trim the end if I needed to trim both the beginning and the end. In other words, crop something. I could select the section that I wanted to keep and then press Command T as in Tom. And Pro Tools will delete the beginning and the end of my selection, leaving me only with the, with the section that I chose. Command T as in Tom. So quick keys that I use on a daily basis. After you've done editing, if you feel like you may have you know overdone it or if you have a couple of little dirty edits here and there it's always a good idea to use fades and one quick way to use fades in Pro Tools would be to actually use the letter F the letter D and the letter G if I wanted to fade something from the beginning or to the left of the cursor I could make place place my cursor where I want the fade to end and press the letter D and that would fade everything into the until the un, until the point of my cursor and that would fade everything to my cursor in the same way if i wanted to trim from the cursor till the end of my session i just place my cursor where i want the fade to start and i could press the letter g and Pro Tools will make a fade up so if I wanted to do a fade out, what I would do is place my cursor where I wanted my fade to start and then I would press the letter G. And this would prompt Pro Tools to start a fade at my cursor and then follow through all the way to the end of the clip. So the letter D would fade to the beginning. So I place my cursor there, press the letter D, pew, fade in. And the letter G would fade to the end. If I wanted to do a crossfade, I would have to select between two regions and then proceed to press in the letter F. That would cause a crossfade between the two regions that you have selected. So you have to select between two regions or you have to have two regions selected top and bottom. For instance, if I had to do a crossfade between this region and this region, all I would have to do is select between the two and then press the letter F. And that would cause a kind of a crossfade. So those are some quick commands that I like to use when editing in Pro Tools. For more quick commands, look for another tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial about editing shortcuts in Pro Tools. For more information, visit our website at usa.sae.edu.